Okay, all right. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome everybody back to Brigadine, the Legend of Renarzia. And today we're starting a new campaign. So we are starting a new campaign here, and uh, it's going to be picked. It almost was the Shinobi tribe, but it got outvoted by one vote. One vote. So we have to change this little picture here to someone that comes from the Republic of Gamal. I seriously, I was, I, I really thought we were doing Shinobi today, then I looked and I counted all the votes and it was just by one vote pushed it into the Republic of Gamal. So we're going to be starting this country here today. So let's get into this here. Uh, welcome on YouTube. Please like and share the video, you know, if you enjoy this kind of content. And so let's go ahead and start it up here. So we're going to do the main mode here. この世界を訪れしそなたよ。見るがいい。この地では古いしえの彼方より人ときも魔なのシャワーが止むことはない。魔なはルーンの神が人間たちに与えし神秘の力。人間たちは魔なを浴びるほどにその能力を開花させていった
ルーナジアの各地を市中に治めてゆくたびに師匠ルーナジア戦記の失われたページはよみがえってくることだろうしかるに統一を果たした時そなたは知るのだこのルーナジアで起きたすべてのそしてあらゆる物語を。Renersia, year 781, five nations and one tribe plunged the land of Renersia into a new era of chaos. Six rulers and their runites throw themselves into the flames of war, each with their own hopes and expectations. Eliza Uzala. She is the daughter of Alden Uzala, the bedridden 15th president of the Republic of Gumol. The Sword of Ang awakens upon realizing the danger the country faces and tasks her with a life changing mission. Previously, a ballerina performing with a secret identity. She must now accept her fate to don the Brigadine of Glory and perform on the stage of battle. Alright, so we're going to be playing Republic of Gamol here. We're not going to be doing that. He's setting this on hard. Divine AI. Do you want to try MST? Help you get Morelva's Avengers. Oh, going after MST? Hmm, I don't know. What do you mean by that? Like, go after MST first? I might go after. I don't really know who I want to go after first, honestly. Council of Runites, Republic of Gamol. I gotta see this. I've been waiting to play Republic of Gamol or Holy Goose Vampire since the very beginning, and it, 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 it didn't get voted until now. <laughs> so, this should be quite fun. In the self proclaimed birthplace of the Runites, the sitting president, Alden Uzala, Has not made a public appearance in half a year. ガイムールの司法とまで言われた騎士アーデン・ウザーラ様とてご高齢には勝てますまいうん。Maybe it's just Republican name only、uh, Pedro Let somebody else take out the other nation? I don't know Maybe I'll do that I'm not sure I mean, if it gets me the Dresden guy, maybe. Otherwise,、um, or if it gets me Sophie, you know, maybe that could be a thing. エルザですとそうよスプラプシェス大統領ほどではないが<笑>あの娘を実際大統領に押す声はあちこちで上がっておる<笑>エルザは
私に言わせればただ単に弁舌が立つだけ我らルーンの騎士の聖なる国を治めるなど<笑>カイン殿の父上とウザーラ大統領は昔ライバルであったなその息子殿がエルザを押すわけがないかあいやそういうわけではないが。それにしてもエルザの姿も見かけるな町中がにぎわっていますからな今頃は浮かれて見物でもしているのではないですかなこれまた手厳しいことだ Man, Kane really really doesn't seem to care about her みんなと一杯やっていかないかごめんおやすみちょ相変わらず付き合いの悪いやつだなおやすみ誰お許しください警備で雇われた身なのにどうしても一言申し上げたくて。忍び族のものね随分若い子だことこのはい忍び族首領デラの娘タリアと申しますフォーマーハズムネーション gained independence by forming the shinobi tribe but they are often employed by other nations as mercenaries due to their excellent grasp on shinobi magic バレエというものがあんなにも美しくそして自由だとは思いませんでした自由お私のバレエをそんな風に言われたのは初めてだわい,いえステージのあなた様はまるで羽の生えた妖精のようで。申し訳ありませんでも会場の警備はきちんと She's a hall guard? <笑>忍び一族が任務に忠実なのはこの国の誰もが知るところ Oh I see so they, they might do some、uh, guarding missions I guess I thought mostly It was the darker side of things. それでバレエの会場までつけたってわけねまあ、いったわね誰にも内緒だったのにもちろん里に戻りましても決してこのことは分かったわタリアとやら口の固い忍び族のあなたを信じることにするさもう行きなさいはいでもエルザ様どうぞお気をつけなさってくださいえブスタファ神聖帝国がノーザリオ王国の一部を占拠したようです The Holy Gustava Empire is annexed part of the Narzalio Kingdom 何ですってブスタファは以前よりおかしな動きを見せていたのですが他の国にもいくつか怪しい事例が上がっておりますそれにエルザ様のお父上
アーデン大統領が病に伏していらっしゃることが他の国々ではとうに知られたことそそんなタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタリアタ Of a different sect of the Rune faith, had maintained friendly relations with Gamol for many years. Until one of Gamol's senior statesmen was sent back, murdered in cold blood. A crisis was swiftly approaching the Republic of Gamol. The Brigandine of Glory and statues of the Mole Ang sisters shook in a warning so powerful that it was felt throughout the country. I think Tally's referring to when Gustava took Warren. I think it's prob probably that too, Pedro. What is this? エルザ様さすがは我らが誇りのブリガンダインそしてムールエンジェ三姉妹の英霊たちいよいよこの国の危機を感じ取ったようですこれは本当に本当に。The one permitted to wield the sword would bear the heavy burden of fulfilling their destiny, following the footsteps of the three Mo Ang sisters to devote their life to protecting the nation. どうぞムールエンジェ三姉妹のご意志をお継ぎなさらい The last will and testament of the Moran sisters このエルザ・ウザーラは我ら誇りのブリガンダインそして偉大なるムールエンジェ三姉妹の信託を得た我はこのエンジェの剣を使いこなす術をまだ持たないだがルーンの騎士よ今我らはこの剣のもとに力を結集させルーンの騎士発祥の地の誇りを全世界に知らしめなければならない<笑>エルザエンジェの剣がお前を選んだのは何かの間違いだろうさ<笑> I'm certain that sort of hang has made some grave error it was それを確かめるために行くだけだ Only joining you so that I may confirm the suspicion myself はいこの場に及んで子供じみたことを言うのではない This is not time to behave like a spurned child ブラックバードの二人まで Even these two blackbirds are ready to put their lives in line for the country Have you no shame? お言葉ですがムーアロー私はもともとバレット族なんぞに応援を頼む気はない
戦いの最中に逃げぬようせいぜい見張られることですなカインなんてことを言うのエルザ様どうぞお気になさらずに何かと父親の意向を鼻にかける御人を私もダリアンも相手にするほど暇ではありません。Neither Darian nor I have the time to worry ourselves over the opinions of those who can do nothing more and take advantage of their father's influence. ブラックバードの二人にねダリアン We the Blackbirds are at your command Isn't that right, Darian? いかようにご命令が下ろうともありがとう敵はもうすでに我が国の領土を狙って動き出している The enemy has already begun moving toward our territory 行くぞ I gotta see what happens here. By clearing the main mode's land of distorted showers, you may now dispatch units to unlocked quests. Huh? Did they add something here? To the game I don't know of? So, Ang, pronounced as angel in Japanese. Ah. The sword of the angel, then. I'm still going to say Ang because, you know,、uh, American, American viewers and European viewers are going to be like, what are you saying? That's not, what, that's not what's typed there. So, um. Did they, did they change that? Why would they change that? They must have changed that because that was not there beforehand. Did they think that those other battles were too hard for people to do? I mean, they're, they're kind of tough, but they're not too hard. You get, you get a lot of stuff to be able to do it. Well, that makes the game easier for me, that's for sure. Is it just for your own personal capital, though? Or is it just everything? Oh, it's a new game plus thing. Okay. Okay, well, alright. I'm not really doing a new game plus, I'm just doing a new game. But since I have the, the other files, I guess it's going to give it to me. Oh, you know, oh well, that's fine.、Mm. Okay, we got to figure out、uh, who we're going to take where and why. And I might have to move this somewhere else, I don't know. Maybe that's. Alright, so who am I going to use here? That's, that's the thing. I really didn't look into these characters yet, so just kind of getting my first idea. Command range of 3, Magic Bull 180, MP2 83, Intelligence 76, They're level 12. It's okay. Not too bad. Ooh, a Berserker. A Berserker. Yeah, gonna take a look at that too. I just gotta look at everybody on the field. And I'm gonna try to figure out what kind of team I wanna build. Because I, I was thinking like the whole last night what kind of team I was gonna build for Shinobi. And then one vote over, it literally was just one extra vote that clinched it for the Republic of Gumal. So it seems like everybody here was, you know, wanting green or red. So that's pretty cool. Agility of 
Oh, yes, Rose. You are coming with me wherever we go. Diana? I might bring Diana too. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe I'll go with like an all Temple Knight <laughs> build. I don't know. I gotta think about it. What's here? Level 9, agility 65, not bad, not bad, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I mean hit points back could be a little bit bigger, but... Oh yeah? Oh, maybe, maybe. I might do... Level 19 Knight Darien. How's this guy look? D and B. That's pretty good too. That's pretty good. Might make a Dark Knight here though. A wizard. Mua. Great. Wait, how about Kane? How is Kane? Is Kane alright? Yeah, Kane's actually quite quite decent. It seems. Yeah, we might do something like that. Either I'm going to take uh, maybe a Darien character. But then again, I also like to kind of like uh, even things out a little bit. I played with Conrad before and he didn't really have very good stats when I took him into the alternate chapter. He might be a little bit better here. So hopefully you can kind of prove... Wow, she's level 1! I don't think I've seen a level 1 yet. Growth of A. Oh, Patricia. You might be my star player. You might be. I might have to level her up. Okay, we got Rose. I mean, um, <laughs> Eliza. The Rose Knight, of course. Uh, Sword of Ang is just one there. Oh, alternate chapter. This must like level up because alternate chapter. This looks like a a gold sword, so they this must level up. Uh, and we get Rose Drive here, so we get that. It's pretty cool. So we get Rose Drive. Get Glorious Cheer. Increases Ally's attack for a limited number of turns. This could be very, very helpful. We could power up some extra knights. Super powerful. Super good. Um, moderate damage. 50% chance of decreasing a target's attack for a limited number of turns. This could be good for a first attack. Although it's not that powerful. It does cost MP too. You know. Yeah, pretty clearly Project Knight there. Um, do we just look? Oh, Katie. Uh, or Kate. Kate. She's D and B. She's not too bad. Agility is super good. That is really good. I might take her. I might take her, and I might take. Maybe I'll take Rose. Rose, Kate, and Elza the main team just a big frontline brawler team <clears throat> yeah we'll have to give her some extra stuff here let's see what uh, what's good to do hmm I know we got a lot of red on our team but I think I'm gonna bring a bunch of centaurs or something like that enchantress bards have no offense spells I guess they'd be harder to level up I guess initially yeah they're gonna be a little bit harder to level up that's kind of for sure that's kind of for certain there but um, 
I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of tossing back and forth. I, I might take Kate or I might take Rose. She's already level 16, though. D and B. Magic pool is quite good. Agility, strength, 89 and 97. 89, 97. Oh, she's... Oh, yeah, she's a ninja class. 89, 97. Mm. Range of four. Yeah, we'll have to probably quest for some pots, I guess. Yeah, we might have to quest for some pots. So, I'm really trying to just figure out team builds here. I might... She's really good, though. I'd like to have some tanky knights here, though. I think... I think to try to make an interesting build... Wait. I guess sugar comes later. I'm used to seeing sugar. Did I just not... I've overpassed sugar. I guess sugar's gonna come later. Okay, so I think to start, I'm going to send Eliza with Patricia and Rose. I was thinking about Kate. Kate could be a good choice too, but I'd like to level up some other knights here to make it pretty good. Um... So I think I'll do that. All right, so where are we going to go first with our team here? We've got some choices, so... We go after Morelva. We could probably consolidate Anna Celestia in the... You know... In the wake of it all, too. We could kind of move north after that. It really depends on my other crews, too, like how they can push out and kind of defend, you know, what they could do. Um, what do we get? We get, uh, we get a healer with Morelva. Hmm. We could go after Norzalio. I kind of feel like if we go after Morella, it would be an easy one to do. We could go after Shinobi too. But that could be handled by a B team, possibly. We could really go after almost everybody. I think. I don't think we're going to have a lot of trouble in a lot of cases here. I'd rather put my really weak knights on my assault team. I kind of like to do that. I, I can level them up very quickly. And uh, it kind of makes the other teams a little more balanced. Because if I just put a bunch of like level 1 knights on one team, it's going to it's gonna suffer. Um, okay, do we need healers? I think we're going to need some healers and some... Protects of such. 
And that could work like that. 34. Hard requirements are intelligence 55. Agility 50. Patricia starts with 62. Should be able to get her back to Bard if you want. Besides, maybe the old uh, Enchantress combo would work, yeah. Yeah, we gotta figure out how it's all gonna kind of come out to play. It looks like she's gonna have a good support team here uh, to balance her out. So she'll be okay. So we gotta get Patricia geared up. She'll have some good support. We're gonna need a little more support too. I don't think we need everything for support, but uh, no, not for that team, I don't think. Although it would kind of sort of fit. Uh, let's figure out what we're gonna get here. So what can we summon? What do we have to summon here? We've got a 35, which might be a good idea. All right, so we're gonna do 35 there. You know what? Yeah. She's basically done. Okay, we've got 115 to go. We have a level 10. We already have, like, decent leveled stuff there. Um... Dog would be good, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to get more centaurs. I kind of want a bunch of centaurs here. I could take some little gobbly dudes. I guess a demon could be okay too. If we can summon. Oh, there we go. Well, that's 85. We'll have to probably like flip some stuff. Uh, that's a bit expensive, though. That's a bit expensive right now. I, I have to put the teams together first. If I can, then I will. I have to try to figure out everything I want. Um, and who's going where. I think right now I'll just put the little gobbly dudes here. Just so... Got this kind of rounded out. All right, so we got that team going over there. With that team going over there. I've got to get a team over here. And then this team is literally just going to go back and forth for a while. And this team might make an assault. I might make another team here. I also need questers too. So we gotta build a second team and I think it might be... Alright, so we got a bishop here. That's a good healer. Berserker and a knight. Berserker and a knight, I think. Where are you? So Conrad, no, Berserker and a Bishop, um, Conrad, I think Conrad could come over and help out.
Okay, so we need some we need some monsters here. The snake would be pretty good. Thanks, that's kind of expensive. Though. Right, so I guess everybody else is basically going up to that northern castle there. I guess we gotta figure out what we're gonna do there. Seventeen and seventy-eight. Oh, we could get. Well, we really can't get anything bigger. We're just gonna go ahead and get and get a flower here. It's kind of expensive, but not too expensive. It's not very good. You know, I, I think with the position of all this, I don't think the position really matters. This rotates randomly to whoever. We gotta figure out who we're gonna quest and why. Kane might go questing. I don't know if I. I mean, he's not bad, but I could use somebody else instead. I think I might use her with him, with, with Mua. I might just maybe sit on defense and just go back and forth for a bit. Do a bit of questing, try to get extra knights. You know? With that sort of thing, so maybe I mean he's he's a be they're 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 pretty good, you know. Yeah, we don't really have an angel, do we? We got we got healers. In which case I probably should give Let's see what we got. So we got He's not a healer, he's not a healer. She is not a healer. Okay, Kane, you're gonna have to give to the rest. I wanted to give it to my main team, but I think we're gonna have to find it as we go. We do have a level six here, so we could turn this into a Phoenix, which could work out. Um,
He's a lot better. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll have to use him then. Command range of three. Oh, you know what? You know what? Um... I think I might quest Conrad instead, although uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some quests with Conrad. Gonna get some monsters over there so we can get some stuff. Alright, so we could probably get some more monsters here. Gotta figure out which ones we're gonna get. Probably sky's the limit now, since I think we've figured out, you know, what we could get, you know. So you know I've noticed there's not that many healers here. So I think I might just get, like, um, a bunch more unicorns. AI runs with a ton of unicorns. I might as well, too. I've got one unicorn for my secondary team. Not very good. don't have any unicorns for that team, but I do have... Uh, I mean, he is a healer over here, but... Well, it would be nice to have unicorns, really. Okay, so she has that. Oh, yeah, Diana has unicorns right there. Um, bishop's not great. Yeah, I'm still going to use the bishop, though. Because I could get an airy hill, possibly. Uh, man, yeah, I want to level her up, too. Uh, so she's level seven. She's level seven. I was gonna do. All right, so he's going over there. She's coming over here. Maybe I'll just put more heals on this team instead, because I don't have enough of Eliza. This team will. I, yeah. Okay. That team will be a little more supportive there. Just, just because. This team will be like full support, you know? Yeah, if we get a holy word off of him or turn him into a mage, then I'll probably keep him as a mage, you know? Um, yeah, I, I think I'll, I might not use Conrad, though. So we're going to get a healer over here. We'll get extra unicorn. I think we'll summon... Let's, let's summon one more unicorn and see what we got left. You know? Because we do have some unicorns, which is nice, but they're just not... There's just not a lot of them. Uh... Oh, oh. I'll do that. Then we'll do... We got nine there. We got 137 here. I might end up doing that um, just so that she's like a, a supportive healer, but I'll leave her as a bard right now so she can like do some protect spells and such. Because I, I would like to get her through a Trabadour class and like max out with some Geno Thunders. So we might go with Geno Thunder and healer for her class potentially. And maybe we'll just kind of like finish her off like that. Um, so I got a hundred something left, and mana is three hundred. 
You know, we could get a demon for that. I think we'll have enough for that. That might be a good might be a good call. And we have no mana left. <laughs> so <laughs> now we got no mana left there. Okay, well if we get sugar, I'll probably put her on uh Muaz team, so it's a, so it's a grandpa and daughter, and we'll we'll split up and do some other stuff. I don't know what we'll do with that, but um, I know she's got great stats too, you know. Yeah, but if I can get if, if I can get her into. Um, I, it, it might be a little hard, but I don't think it'll be too bad, especially with a main assault team or being on a main assault team. She'll she'll have so much, to, you know, time to do whatever. You know, she'll probably be probably be pretty good with that. Um, so I think we I think we got everything set here. I hope everything's set. I hope I didn't mess it up. I got an extra night coming over here. We're gonna have to flip flop a little bit. Um, okay, so this is basically the beginning of the game here. Sorry it's taken me a little while to figure this out, but uh, I have not played this yet. And so this is my first LP of the Republic of Gumol. So thanks on YouTube for giving a like and a subscribe. I hope that you definitely hit the bell too but um we're gonna pretty much just keep going here you know i'm just gonna go ahead and set out the orders see what happens uh we might do a little bit of a quest we might go into a battle very likely and i think we'll get going so i think we're good to go let's go ahead and end the turn here always the training grounds though yeah yeah there's definitely a training ground so let's go ahead and end here You think to quest every night that's not moved? Hmm. Well, maybe we'll do a little bit of questing. I think I could probably quest Diana here. Although she's really not going to do very much. But we'll go to the hills. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not? Because we're playing on hard. So if they come and attack us right away, we're, we're kind of boned. Alright, we're going to put this, this to the test. All right, put it to the test here. Um, she really can't do a lot, but all right, that sounds good. Okay, so Conrad Isles looks like he really wants to go there. Okay, so. Oh, wait a second, I, I need a I need a Conrad to move over there though. Well, he's bringing extra, he's he's bringing extra stuff. Ah, uh, uh, maybe we could wait on him. I'm not going to use him anyways. Okay. You gotta move there, you gotta move there. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. 
soon after Eliza had formed her unit, the Grand Warlock, Mua's granddaughter, Sugar, appeared with a report on the enemy. Hey, okay, good, she's finally here. Call her Captain Eliza. <laughs> Here's all the information crap I com I compiled on the war with our enemies. Not Grandpa! Grand Warlock! Mua! <laughs> the look on her face. Arigato. <laughs> 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 well, let's see, there's Nozalio always going on about justice, but since the sudden death of King Rubino III, there's been nothing but impressive. <laughs> Rumors that we, Grimol, or the Gustava, are behind the late king's death. So they're already suspicious. They're already suspicious of them, even though they were allies beforehand. But what? How would that make sense? <laughs> it's nothing but gossip. <laughs> Those who constantly cry justice are often blind to their own injustices. <laughs> Try these hypocrites from our lands once and for all. Country formerly known as. I was gonna say something else, but. Oh, ほら。少し前までは我が国でも大きなイベントなんかがあると警備兵として雇っていたらしいじゃない。忍び一族くつの。Now they're called Shinobi Tribe or some such. <laughs> Heard that other countries use them in much the same way we do to gather information, quite the valuable resource. I've heard that as well. In fact, I spoke once to the mercenary working in town. You did? Yes, I do believe, yes. She said her name was Talia. Talia? Indeed, and quite young too. I suspect it was her first time being sent to another country. <laughs> Please take care, Miss Eliza. If this girl truly is Talia, then she... A leader. She is a leader with abilities that surpass those of her mother, Della. Altison, I... I... I don't know why that didn't work. 
忍び一族は長い間我らのような大国の間を縫うようにして生き延びてきましたそれが唯一の生きる手段であったわけですね we, we would have been playing a shinobi but somebody had to go and put one more vote for Gomol <laughs> that's okay <laughs> I don't mind it might be shinobi next everybody might vote for shinobi next I don't know um if a shinobi was just a long history of disgrace and humiliation for being forced to live under the control of others, or that Tali has taken advantage of the land's current state of unrest to start a revolt in pursuit of freedom. Pursuit of freedom? Eliza paused as she remembered the expression on Talia's face as she spoke of the beauty and freedom she had witnessed on the stage. That said, when people that have been denied freedom for so long finally get a taste, following any law of the land can be difficult. What does that mean? It means that next is the swelling desire to take freedom from others. What? I suppose a Barrett would understand that better than most. Seems true enough. Once free of restraints, mankind begins to have some of the strangest ideas. I know I've thought about giving up this life of endless warfare for a chance to make some children with someone. Kate. Who's she gonna make children with? Is it Darian? Is it Cain? Is it Tim? I don't know. <laughs> ah, but there's no need to fret. A Barrett Fairy giving birth is essentially a death sentence. So I suppose it won't be that easy to become a mother. This only made Eliza all the more aware of freedoms not granted to Barrett fairies like Darian and Kate or the people of the Shinobi tribe. Didn't see any wise play a shinobi though. Well, we try to do some really good stuff with, with uh, Republic. We'll get to shinobi when we get to shinobi, so it might be up next though. You seen you seen uh, LP though? Yeah, I, I know a lot of people are playing Burgundine right now. There's a lot of new... There's a lot of new people for playing Burgundine. I'm still going to keep doing it, though. So, after this is all done, we're going to recycle the whole thing again and do challenges. So, <laughs> it's going to be a whole other set of LPs. Most people don't do challenges. Hardly anybody, if ever, does any challenges for Burgundine, and I usually do that, so... Um, yeah... <sighs> We must use the bringing of glory to bring them to their knees as soon as we are able. If that is what must be done, as protectors of the birthplace of the Rune Knights, it shall be done. It shall be done. Gustavo Shinsei Teikoku. 
Next, the Holy Ghost of Empire. This country started as an aristocrat. Aristocratic state ruled by the Gustav family. As you know, they are already set out on a path of conquest ahead of the current turmoil. And it's well known that Gustav have never possessed a brigandine of their own. So they're quite jealous. They're very, 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 very jelly. So, Emperor Tim Gustav seems determined to take a brigandine by any means necessary. It has all the markings of another Gustav incident. Well, with the Sword of Ang on our side, we're sh we we're should we should be unstoppable, is what it should say. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and correct this here. Hopefully, you don't mind. We should. Be unstoppable. Right, Ellie? I might have to correct some things because there's there are some slight mistranslations here. Absolutely. Liz gazed down once more at the Sword of An. Once, when the Gustava family had recklessly threatened their borders. The Mul Ang sisters had used this sword to restore peace to the land. And even now, it shone brightly. However, Eliza was keenly aware that the sword had yet to regain its full power. She was also aware that this lack of power was comparable to her own abilities as a Runaya. <laughs> I promise you this, Sword of Ang. One day, I'll become a skilled runite worthy of your power. Next, the Man of Celestia Theocracy. Didn't they just go to war with them? Like some years ago? I guess they're on good terms now, but they were kind of at war in the past, right? Hmm. I guess I'll learn more as we play. That's all in the past now. Very recently, the body of a rude knight visiting Manislesia was recently returned to us. It was almost unrecognizable. It's as if the Holy Sovereign Romanov had been possessed by some evil spirit. I can think of no other explanation. Evil spirit? As you know, the Holy Sovereign is a patron of the Zai sect of the Rune Faith, whereas our country follows the Mohana sect. But we've never had cause for conflict between the sects, as the humble Holy Sovereign is a tolerant man, or at least that is what we thought. Now he suddenly dons the bringing of sanctity and declares the world be united under the Zai sect. Come to think of it, I've heard rather unsavory things about his son, Rudo. They say he is quite the ruthless police captain. In any case, as protectors of the sanctuary of Mohana, we simply cannot allow them to do as they please. Too much dragons? Early quest, try hills, Madro. If you are lucky, you can... Gear plus experience ring for night two. Mm. Hills Madro. I think that's right next to Manislesia. I, I was doing so much questing, I'm starting to remember where all the places are now. Mohana's runites shall not waver. 
Should the Zai sect approach us with hostile intentions, we will rise to meet them. Last we have a rather regrettable report on the United Islands of Morelva, at least regrettable for me personally. Other glittering emerald seas speak to me. Temper your romanticism. Besides, you're well aware that this is the nation of people who were originally pirates. Miss Eliza, there is news that a pirate Sion of the name of Stella has taken it upon herself to start mobilizing the islands. A rather fitting manifestation of the arrogance, the brigandine of ego, in the physical world. Show them how badly outclassed they truly are by Miss Eliza, reincarnation of the Mola sisters. Exactly, and if Ellie controls the Morelvian archipelago, we'll be able to visit their beaches. <laughs> That's not the point at all. That's the reason we go to war with Morelva? Oh okay. Okay, I guess we're gonna go there first because we are kind of the aggressors to them. Everything else is like, whoa, we're gonna play some defense here. We'll see what they do. But, like, Morelva looks like we're being kind of the aggressors on this part. Thank you, Moa Sugar. So it would seem that each country has its own reasons for the surge and unrest. What we can do now is place our faith in the Brigandine of Glory and fight until the bitter end. Sensei, sensei! It's quite arrogant on their own. Well, it's kind of like the ego in a way. The glory and the ego are kind of the same in a way. For personal glory is also for your own ego. Uh, so they're kind of very similar. Sensei, sensei, Stop playing soldier child. Your report is done. So now it's time for you to head back. He's right. Military regulations clearly state that only witches that have passed their mess of fight trials are allowed on the battlefield. <laughs> ah! Sugar grinned as she shared her results from the Republic's Witchcraft Certification Board. Impossible! Oh, you skipped right over Neophyte and passed the Mesophyte trial. That's my granddaughter. That's supposed to mean you'll be joining our ranks, Sugar. Of course, with such a young, energetic witch on your team, you'll be very near unstoppable. <laughs> well, don't let this old warlock hold you back. Yes, go. Excellent, let's be off then. For the glory of Gamol! Great. Sugar is an ally. Perfect. Sugar is going to go into another team. I don't know which team right now. I'll have to think about it. Uh, look at the teams. We'll see which one needs a little more rounding out. I know she's kind of low, but she's got great growth stats. Um, I've used her in the... Um, I've used her in the alternate mode. I think once. It's quite good. The Av, uh, Gustava, and Morelva feel most aggressive. Hmm. Possibly. I played as Morelva, and it, it did have a... It, it sort of was like... It was like Escalio. Morelva's so much like Escalio. Like, oh, they're gonna come and fight us? They're, they're, there's war everywhere? Well... 
Let's turn the tides. Let's go and attack them first. Let's do it. Let's do it. Morelva, pirates, and Drist, and his country, so similar. Really? That's the definition, Pedro? No way. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I guess she came to us here. Wait, I put Patricia over here. How did... I swear I moved Patricia over here. Why... Oh, wait. No, I... Oh, I forgot. Aw. Okay, well... All right, we're gonna order some stuff around here. Man, so many low-level knights. Uh, let's see here. Oh, good, she already comes with a level eight demon. Well, what do you know? That's quite good. Uh, all right, let's see about. I don't know. Maybe I could fight once with Sugar just to get her into battle so we can actually do something. And maybe then we'll switch out some stuff. I don't know if I want all this stuff here. I mean, maybe. Might be a good idea to level them up. We gotta get some stuff for that team. We have so much stuff here, this will be easy. Super easy to figure out. Uh... Alright, we got a... I think Conrad's gonna go questing. I think I might level up uh, Marcos here. <laughs> it's not a good enough plant. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't say. Alright, so what does this team probably need? I think we're gonna need another Timmy. Or something. Maybe... I like the dogs, though. No, it's, uh... Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Conrad can go questing. be right. I think I might... Maybe I'll quest Vayne and I'll put Diana over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we got to get a bunch more stuff here. Just a ton more stuff. Uh, okay, we got 90. 90 points here. What do we got left? Um, oh, that's so close, too. But what do we have? Do we have sea serpents here? We got one and one dragon. We got a flower... Well, it's not super tanky. Um, might need to bring some uh, unicorns. But yeah, maybe. 
I think I'm gonna get uh, something here if we need. We already got a decent tank. We don't need a lot more tanks. We have enough tanks here, I think. We could get maybe a little bit of support for this one particular side. A flower would be good, but we need 90, so that would mean three of these guys here, which could maybe be better. Uh, so maybe we'll just go with a bunch of elementals. I'd like to get another plant, but we do have one for this team too. Oh, right off the bat, just like that. Man a miracle, we manifest it just like that. I get one more there. I like to kind of go low sometimes, you know, when I'm starting a quest just to know, like, do I need to, to blow all my cash in one shot or do I need to kind of like space it out a little bit? We got two Mana Miracles, look at that! Two! I just mentioned Mana Miracle and just another one just jumps into our lap, just like that. Last one, not so good, but that's good enough for me. Um. Okay, so we'll do an attack with Diana, but then, or with, with uh, Sugar, but then we're gonna put her somewhere else and try to relocate a few things. We could probably just fit everything up into here. Kind of looks that way. Nope, we could do that. We could... 30. Oh, let's just do the 5. Got 27. They have a lot of tanks going over there. I could probably take a gobbly dude with me. I need more tanks here. Don't have a lot of those. She's going to kind of have to tank a bit, which... Yeah, that's that's a thing. 158. 155. All right, let's go ahead and do some summons here. We do not have... Enough healers to move over there. How many? So we got some protects here. Protects going over there though. She's a dancer class, which is kind of, it can almost be a frontline tank, but it's a little iffy. Uh, we got 158 to work with. I think a Phoenix would be good for that team. Twenty. I could get two. <laughs> yeah, I could get two. One hundred twenty, and then uh, a pixie there. That would probably be good. Yeah, we could try to make her an archer or something like that. That that could be a good idea. Might, that might work out. All right, let's get a pixie here. And go with that. Looks pretty good. I don't know, maybe I'll use Vayne. I, I might have to build a team with him. I, I'm sure I'm gonna have to build another team. He might be one I might use. Um, I just like to build a team with a little variety. Either a couple attackers with a healer or a couple mages with a tank, something like that. That's usually a decent way to go. Uh, he's an enchantress right now, which he's going to be doing like a bit more offensive stuff. Which isn't bad for her to have some unicorns too in the team. Um... So what do we have left? We have one moving, one questing,
We'll probably do some questing for a while so we can see if we can get some extra knights. Or just uh, just a few, you know, bits of extra things here. I think he's going to definitely do some quests. Yep, he's already questing. Uh, I don't think I have enough teams to keep questing. I've only got... Yeah, I don't I don't have a lot. Um, you know what? Actually, for a fighter class, he's level 9. Let's put him through training grounds. And you're level Ah, oh, it's level 19. He's It's close enough. I I'll probably have to put him in a battle to do stuff like that. And then do I need to He's already level 10. Okay. So he could do that. Okay, so there's just a lot of micromanaging here. <laughs> I gotta figure out. Um, just Rose Knight. Really? So Conrad could be a better mage, potentially. That's interesting. Alright. So she's proficiency one. I don't think she has any other proficiencies, though. Hunter. I wonder if they do that. I bet they don't. I just want to see. No. Nope. No other side proficiencies. Not that I see. Okay, so she's maxed out as a dancer. She could... Yeah, she could possibly be that. She'd have a Venom spell. Be the hunter. Hmm. Might be a good idea. <laughs> All right, I want to keep her as enchantress right there. Um. Oh, with her. Yeah, she could be a Lancer, too. It's possible. Might be good to have a little variety, though. Especially for this team here that's going to be moving around a lot. This team is literally just going to move back and forth here until I can get another team to do something. One... Five. What we got as a fighter? What could we do? He's just so close to that. I don't know if we should do something else right now. Don't know what I'm gonna get. Accuracy up. Get a flame spell. That's about all he really could get. I, I like to cross class like Guinguelin into a mage in the other game, and I know Raging Paul did it here too. Raging Paul just got a flame spell, and I don't know if he's ever going to use it or if he's going to use it. I like to do the cross class to get the Geno flame, but just a single flame spell is just kind of like meh. I mean, it could be kind of good for him, but it's like one of those last minute things. I'd rather have a Geno flame to just go. Whoosh, you know, just kind of surprise attack with that, but I don't know if it's any... I don't know if doing anything else is any good. Maybe it'll just stay like this here. Maybe that's the way it has to be. She's proficient. Um, 
So she's a dancer. So she's a dancer, so I think she would kind of be complimented by being a lancer. But she is a proficient rogue assassin, so I think a lancer class would be a good fit for her. If we're going to go into that. Loss of stats. Yeah, I think we'll go to Lancer for Kate. Get her through the Temple Knight and such. She'll keep gravity and she'll keep double movement. That's that's pretty fantastic. I think that's a good idea. She can already start frontlining quite well now. So I might keep her and him together. Uh, He's a proficient fighter. Although if we change to something else right now, he doesn't have very good intelligence. Agility is okay. Monk class might be where it's at, but I don't know what to do with him. And he's about to become a knight. So I don't know if I can do anything with him either. Uh, I don't think I can. All right, so you're not even proficient with that yet. Not really. I might need a healer first before I need a bard though. And I could get the, the heals done. So I might just change her to healer cleric right off the bat. I can get, I can get heals going right away, especially if I lose some unicorns or whatever. She can already start with that. And then we'll go back to Trabador. And then Conrad, you're saying he's mage material, we'll see. I mean, he does have good intelligence, so maybe maybe that's a good idea. So he's level, yeah. All right, well, uh, that's interesting though. He's like, I, I find it interesting. They've got different knights in here that are sometimes better as something else like Veda. He starts as, like uh, a mage but he has better stats for a fighter so it's almost like well maybe he should be a fighter instead you know it's like well what you thought should be the way it, you think it should be might not always be that way you know all right we got a rod got some got some rings got a curious Holy rod. Intelligence up. Yes, please. That's crazy, too. That's crazy, Pedro. 90 intelligence for a knight. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Osada. He's definitely better off as a mage. You know, like like we were laughing at Gilly on the last time. He's like a glorified unicorn. He's got like he's got like 64 intelligence for a cardinal. Just garbage status. He's he's a better quester than he is a knight. You know, just a terrible terrible knight. He's basically the new Langaborg. Gilliam is like, you know, that kind of person. Um, so I think we're done with that. I know we're going quite far with this, but I think we're done with that, so we could probably... Well, I gotta keep a team here for defense. So I guess that's the team that's gonna stay. Just in case they attack, which they might. Dispatch one knight to level up, or... Wait, did I do training grounds with him? No, I went to the plains. Okay, that's good. I think a berserker would be a nice fit for the team somewhere. Get a viking out of it. I think that'd be a good fit. Well, if they attack me on season two, like, 
Pedro's saying they could attack on Season 2. If, I, if, if they attack me on Season 2, I'm going to lose a lot of territory. Which I'm a little bit worried about. Because they did move over there. You know. Um, I don't need items and equipment that badly here. I know people feel like it's a great thing. Items and equipment are... They're nice, but it's never a game changer for me. I played the game for 20 plus years. I've never really needed items and equipment to to win my battles. Uh, unless there's a particular knight that I can only get because of said whatever, then I might, but I don't... It's not showing me any knights that are appearing here. Like, there's no... There's no icon for that, so I might get one. Oh, and I found out with the alternate chapter 2. The alternate chapter 2, uh, you can just randomly get knights without even questing for them. That's how I got Eliza on my team when I was playing. She just came up and was like, oh, I want to fight for you. I was like, huh, that's great. Let's do it. Um, Alright, so we're pretty well set here. So we gotta make a new save data here. Gonna make it number four. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to have every piece of gear that there is in a game. Uh, when I get to end game stuff, then I wanna fight the boss and I wanna do super well, then I go for that. Otherwise, most of the game have an extra sword or something's nice and all that, but it's never really a true determination as to me winning the battles I can do without. I know, I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, what? Yeah, I can actually kind of do without. I don't need... I don't need it that badly. Um, other people might be like, I need all that gear right now. It doesn't, I, it doesn't mean anything until I get it right now. And it's like, well, I don't rely upon, uh, it, you know... I don't rely upon the gear to help me win. I, re I rely upon my tactical advantage to gain the win, not the gear. Um, as this game has been in the past, it's been like that. There's only some occasions where it's like, there's such a big difference. Like if you're playing as Brangian from Norgard, and you got the Heaven Bow, that can make a serious dent, you know, in, in some prospects. So there are some gear that can, but not every gear really does that. So, um... All right, we're gonna let that ride. Cause gear in the past was literally like a small percentage of a metagame. Now it's an even bigger part of a metagame. There are definitely some good pieces of gear that can really like turn it like Lapis Animus, Lapis Elixis. That can be really good, but it's super rare to get. And it's kind of like hoping for uh, to, to get the Puro on your team because you have no dragons and hoping to get that quest to go. It's such a small percentage chance that I just don't bother. It It's just so... It's such a tiny percentage of a chance that I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I'm just not gonna worry about that. Where should I go with this team, though? Should I just stay, or should I go? You know, I don't have a full team here... ...yet. I don't have a full team here yet. But I should probably hit something, right? Um... Hmm. I could take out the leader here. You'll probably do that. This looks a little tight, though. You got the leader, too. You got, they got Mr. Sammy over here. They've got some good stuff here. Do I have a decent team? Yeah, I kind of do. I'm going to be trudging through that forest. That's going to take a while. That might be kind of tough for this team right here. 
I think we'll go up here. That's still going to be tough, but this might be a little more doable. Yup. Then after this, we're going to have to relocate some characters here. And uh, we might have to pause some of our fight. And we're going to have to... I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll have to recalibrate. We'll have to re go back and forward. Yeah, I don't know which way the best way to go right off the chance here. You got like one, two, three, four options. You've got a massive amount of options here. And uh, Morelva's basically a straight cut line through. Since they're both the aggressors here, we might as well take each other out first. And then after that, I think Mana Celestia, and then it should be kind of easy to go north from there. We take out the hardest stuff first. But we also have to, like, plan accordingly. So we'll definitely, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and just do it like this. I'm going to go ahead and save her up here. Got two attacks going. Should be quite good. Okay, we're going to have a fun battle here. I think we're fairly even matched as far as like monsters. I know the power score shows it too, but it just, they, they probably put the, the power score correctly here too, because it has a good feel like this. This feels fairly balanced as far as like me versus you. You know, they have probably a little more monsters, but let's see how good this army is that I've got. Which probably is pretty decent. <laughs> no tree with as many rings as I. <laughs><笑>このロボク、ガイムールのムーアという。おお、なんと大魔法師ムーアドのでしたか。これはこれは。まさか大陸に名を馳せる自由だのと実を競い合えるとは光栄の至りですぞ。こちらこそ心が躍るようじゃ。口る前の老木の務めを傘となる。雨風から若き芽を守ること。自由となにも戦う理由が終わりなのでしょう。聞くだけやばというもの。まさしく。ムーアドノが Alright everybody, so if I didn't mention beforehand, welcome back to Cowboy Burgundine. We are going to try to win this battle here, and then we're going to give it up and walk away. And then we're going to do another battle, probably against Shinobi, and we're going to give it up and walk away. Until we get enough people in our squad to move out into Shinobi and Orzalio territory to be able to control the land. We're, we're just literally going to be going back and forth doing some uh, some leveling battle here. So this is a good chance for experience. This is a good chance to 
you know, level up our knights, make them so much stronger. And then once we have another team, we're going to split this team into two. So one person's going to go to another team, and two people from another team are going to accept that person onto a new team, just so I got some leveled up characters to work well together. And then they're going to split up and, you know, go different ways. <clears throat> The only Jew has uh, the cure. Well, I'll have to see what what happens then. I guess if they got something big. I can I can turn to stone. I might. I think she just put a veil on her knight, though. Oh boy. Hey, how's it going, Avemo? How you doing? How you doing today? We got all these clay golems just kind of hanging out here. Really can't do much with them right now. Uh, oh, you're going next? Okay, good. Put the hellhound here. Little Efridi over here. So yeah, how's it going, Avemo? Um, if you want to give some names for some, you know, some things, let me know. We got a whole lot of monsters. A whole lot of monsters can get named. I'm probably going to play on a faster speed mode, though. You know, because... I, I kind of... I'm kind of getting used to that. Yes, this is the start of the Gomo playthrough. So thank you, sir. thanks everybody for putting the votes in there for the uh, next LP. And uh, it got, it was gonna be Shinobi, but then it got overturned by one vote. One vote is all it took. Change the tides. It was literally one vote. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was not the greatest of moves. Yep, and she put herself within range to do a cleanse too. So, can't really do that. They, they, they know what they're doing with this stuff. They really do. They set themselves up in like great positions so you can't do anything to them. Um... And then it's blocked by this guy. I still can't get around. There's just no way to go around this whole thing here. So I guess we're just going to have to do some bite attacks, you know? Oh, hey, Pringer. Uh, no, I did not. I, I don't know when it's going to come. If, if you got it, then maybe the East Coast is getting it first. But no, I haven't gotten anything. But then again, since you're asking me, maybe you didn't. So, but since you're doing a shocked face, maybe you did. I don't know. Uh, can I dimension from here, though? You got the notification yesterday that it's going to be shipped out? Oh, man. I was wondering, when the heck am I getting my stuff? Yeah, when will I get my things? I want my things too. That my things are important as well. I got a notification, but it I don't know when the heck it's gonna come. I have no idea. What are we looking at here? Looking at him coming out to here, not really going very far. 
this night. Yep, looks like we're going to have to be taking out their monsters. I, I don't see a way around it. They're going to be blocking us quite quite fierce with a lot of monsters here. It, it looks very much like that's going to be the case. Um, we got the knight in the front lines. I've got just one healer. Extra blast! Ooh, that would definitely kill it. Do I need to spend all my money or my mana on it? Maybe. This guy is pretty good. All right, so I got B, then A's up next. A can get a he could get a kill going to paladin status. That would probably be better. I think we'll just do that. Just do uh. Okay, no, we need more than that. We need a. I think we need a flame spell. Or maybe a venom spell, because I could do a hit and away. Yeah, we could do. Okay, okay, let's do this. Do a venom spell, hit and away, night kill, boom. Kind of. Kind of done. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I should probably move out of that breath attack range. That's maybe not the best idea. Kill off the dragon right off the bat. One dragon down. Gotta get you into place somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put you. Probably over on this side cuz we got we got room to to do stuff. Um so many heavy tanks on this side. It's nuts. I have too many tanks here. So if some if some bite the dust, so be it. It's just going to be a big heavy tank battle. Tank after tank after tank, you know. Was won't grow much. He's finished in season one. Well, he's going to be a good asset to some of the party, so I'll, I'll keep him there for quite some time. For how long, I don't know, but some time. Uh, let's do this. I've got all this stuff sitting in the back. Let's let's try to maybe reinforce this side here. Go up for a nice little breath attack. Come up from the rear. I have no idea where to go with him. Spare lizard man lying around. I'd be flattered if you could aim him Avery. Okay. Well, I got the gold one here, so you can have the gold lizard man if you want. That's fine with me. Did she just move closer, like right there? Did she really think that that was a good idea? I mean, she might get away with it, but. Well, maybe she might get away with that. Unless we kill this thing off. Then there's this snake too. That's that's annoying. I don't know if I can do anything about the snake. It's unfortunate, but I think we're going to kill off this giant here. Three, four, wait a second, that's five, right? Six. Okay, I cannot get I cannot get in and get out. I'd have to move him out of the way. I 
At least I hope I can get back. Just like that. No, we'll leave the demon right there. We'll leave him right there. Uh, we'll leave it right there, because there could be something... There, there could definitely be some incoming damage. Uh... I think I'll put you over here. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, we'll have to replace some things here. I'll have to replace and replenish with something. I don't know, but I'll have to figure that out, too. Alright, I got an idea. Which could work. It's quite strong. Sorry to do this to you, buddy. That looks quite nice. <laughs> we kind of do, don't we? We kind of do. Can I actually suffer going out there like this? Is that going to be okay? Well, I'd kind of expose my front line unless I put him in the front made him to be my little patch for now that might be okay she has divine ray they don't they don't really have much else here and I'm white so I could pump a lot of damage into her quite fast just gonna get just gonna get him kills, just because. All right, Mua, you are blocked. Kinda need to do something here. Don't really see a lot I can do with this guy. I think I'll bring him around the back. Yeah, we're going to level up Darien, we're going to level up all the main knights. If we lose a few a little tanks, like some golems or maybe a dragon or something, I mean, I'm okay with that. I don't want to, but if it happens, it happens, you know? Alright, so I set up this for a dragon attack. Uh, I got you here because of reasons. Um, probably... Okay, I can't see a I can't see a fantastic way about this, but we'll just play the blocking game for now. We could take this out. We'll try to do something with that. Let's get in here. Let's do a surround. A surround and we'll try to take down something here. I don't know what. I think we'll try to take this down. We'll try to work our way over. Big Claw. I 
could do a breath attack, but if this gets a kill, then I'd rather do that. Oh, it's so close, too. Well, wait, Mua's gonna go first, right? Okay, C goes next, C team over there, then A team. A team cannot get a, uh, a heal here, so I don't think he's gonna be able to get out. He really can't go far. Yeah, he can't get out. That centaur is basically dead. He he won't he won't make it. So I don't need to worry about that. Let's just blow a breath attack here. Oh, that's right. Kate does have. Oh, that's right. She's got venom. Well, that could have worked. Either way, next turn they're going to be going. It, it'll go down. It can't get out very far, and it will still pretty much die. So, uh, well, we could do. You know, I could put Venom on their knight. Oh, that's why they did that. He has a veil spell. And I'd have to do a Venom on him and then do another Venom and him. Ooh, I think I might have to do Venom now rather than later. She'll probably pop another Veil spell. And if she does that... Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Won't really get much out of it, but... Hit move. C team, I think. Probably move over here. We could fight the knight then. Well, she could get hit with Divine Ray. Uh, that could hurt. Hey, Jake! Gumol? Worth combat. Gumol with the comeback. Yeah, yeah. Gumol won. You guys and gals all voted, and Gumol won by one vote. One vote. So, thanks so much for the votes. Oh, man. I hope the big guy's okay, but he's gonna get hit a lot, too, isn't he? <laughs> you you kind of did. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! There goes one of them. We lost one. You are my liege lord. Thank you, Streamlabs. We lost one. Yikes! And we've got a bunch of knights here in places of which... You know... Your vote switch. <laughs> Why'd you all change your minds? I don't know. Well, at least I don't have to heal him anymore. That's for certain. So B team's going next. B team's gonna heal through. One, two, three. You cannot heal this thing though. That is for certain. I might have to move to try to surround this big snaky thing here because I feel like they have a very power heavy thing here and I got too much tanky defense there. I can't really get much to go. I think I might have to move in, do an attack, get out, and reposition a little bit because it looks like they're just focusing on, uh, on this side here. I don't think I can take her out right now. I see. Yep, well, we are definitely streaming. <laughs> definitely streaming Gumol now. That's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, the gobbly dude needs to move. He's he's kind of in the way. Yeah. And I could move him over one, and I would. I just want to see if this is a good place too. Well, yeah, that's not so bad. 
I actually get to have a little more control here. Exoblast would be a little bit better out of the snake range. Um, if he wanted to come forward, I could do something else. I think we'll just kind of do that for now. Eighty-six and a fantastic miss. Great. Oh boy. Where do I go here? I don't want to get dive bombed with Divine Ray right there. It's not a bad position. Maybe we need to focus down this knight here because he can't really heal all too well. Yeah, I guess I'm not getting that center right this time, am I? Yeah, how you doing, Red? Good evening, too. So I gotta do a little bit of healing here. It's somebody, I think. I think the lizard guard's gonna get a heal. The dog kind of needs it too, but lizard guard probably is gonna get hit a bunch here. So it'd be good to level, or good to good to keep him alive. Um. All right, so B team's going up next. Can I take out a monster or something? Oh, we got you to go, too. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah, how you doing, Red? How's everybody doing today? Doing tonight? Um, got a lot to think about here, that's for sure. I feel like this is risky here, especially with my Hellhound, but I don't know what else to do. 40%, um, they might heal it up, but whatever. Dang it, they hit me. I didn't think they'd hit my dog. And he can't back out either. All right, I'm gonna force them into a heal instead of doing any extra damage here. Maybe a couple heals. Possibly a couple heals here. I could walk around and smack it and kill it off. I could do that. But I think I'd, I'd, I'd reposition my stuff too much here and that, that might not work out. Uh, all right, well, how good are we with heals? Um, yikes, it's just she could divine raid my hellhound now. And that would be the end of it. You know what I mean? Forty-three. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> We're gonna do some punches on this thing over here. No, they healed it up. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're trying to do this so they can get out of the trap. Yep, they can pull him back that way. Push forward, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you'd rather do that instead of Vortex Spell? That's fantastic. D don't mind me if I do. Don't mind me if I do. I'm going to go and crush all your stuff now. I'm definitely going to do that. That's for sure. C team goes next. C team could heal this thing here. It wouldn't be very good for me. Although I'd like to get her different position. They moved that thing there too. Man, they're just just moving stuff all over the place, aren't they? Alright, well I guess we're gonna have to 
beat this thing into submission. I'm trying to trap me in here. Doing a good job, too. Yeah, she could. She definitely could. That might be a good idea, too. I was just thinking, Osida, if I push her up one more space, attack the knight, uh, do a breath attack, get the lizard guard to move over here, attack the knight again. I'm just trying to see this through, but I think Team C is going up next anyways, so I guess it's just going to be... It's just going to be like that. Um, ah, you know what? That's that's probably a good idea. Because I was thinking about doing a level leveling Byler here so we can get a little bit better Lizard Band, but, you know, leader kills are kind of the thing. Venom is 80 points, though. See, the thing is, I might want it for a free hit on her. I, I might want to save it for a free hit on her just in case. This, this is a good idea. It will get me experience, but I won't have any ranged attacks with her. Um, and then I need to kind of concentrate on this guy here, too. You know? Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's, it's one of those things. Either I'm working for the whole battle, or I'm working for a knight. And if I do an attack on him do a couple big attacks on him, I can break him down a little bit better. Shizzler might go down quite quickly. Um, so maybe I'll do uh, a Venom on him. And then that'll do some damage. I don't know. Just It's kind of a tough call because I'd like to level her up too. I need to try to take down the knight. You know what? The knight's gonna, the knight's gonna take forever to kill. Maybe the venom spell is a better call. Then I can get the lizard guard over. Help out somewhere else. I'm just so used to going after you know some leaders, but like paladins and knights in this game are super tanky. They're so hard to take down. Now we could move forward. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Oh man, I want to be with a divine range, D uh, divine ray, attack possibly. Oh, this is risky. You know, I could just move her back. Wait, how far are we out of our ranges? Well, everybody else will be out of range. I think we got to just sit there. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to sit there. Should I come back and help out? Maybe. Dude's protected. We're, we're going to go take this thing out. I, I can't have everybody in my back row. I can't have that. Okay, now he's not chained. Could probably move closer. All right, so that's a little bit better. Shield ability is very powerful, plus they have high health and defense. Yeah. I, I'd like to, but like knights and stuff in this game are just very good. Oh, there's the protect spell. I was wondering when they were going to even do that. Oh no, they got him. They got him. She used all her magic up. Well, she still has one more spell though. Um... All right, so A teams go next. We could try to focus on her, maybe. We could knock her out. A team. What is left with A team, though? Uh...
They have nothing left on A-team. I slaughtered everything on A-team. So it's really just C-team and B-team that are really the big kickers here. All right, well, if that's the case, yeah, you can heal him up all you want. I don't care. All right. There's just no accuracy here. Got some agility here. We might get out of attacking. Good. Good. I like that. It's nice. As much as I don't really want to, I think we should probably heal him up because he's kind of taking the front lines fairly well. So that might be a good play. Uh, let's get up here so we can gobbledygook that area. Let's take care of business first there. She's getting low on magic, isn't she? She still has magic though. So we could save some uh, some petrifications here pretty soon. So maybe we'll do that. Wait, wait, wait. Whose turn is it next? It's um B team's turn to go, and then A team will go. She could do a cleanse. We could just keep solidifying one of the knights, you know, make it so that it's kind of a pain in the butt. They can't really do much. Uh, the knight won't be able to do anything. He can't counterattack. Um, yeah, there's no way to. Uh, we might be able to solidify him here. It does cost us a bit. Ooh, no, actually that makes it a lot worse. Uh, 35, 100 there, 45, not very good chances actually. Yeah, not very good. Do a curse. I'll be down to that. Yeah, we could hit up Shizzler this way. Alright. We got this to go. I still have that centaur here too. I don't know if I can take down the knights right now. I, I, I might be able to take these things out, but... Uh, let's see about a Hellbite. 36% accuracy you have on me. Oh, this might hurt you quite a bit. 36 and you still hit me! Come on, dude! That's a bit much. Yeah, if we if we could, she still has enough for a divine ray. Once she's done with that, and then this dispelled, then we're gonna turn everybody to stone. We're gonna definitely do that. Uh, I guess we could do this. She might do an area heal or something.
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Ore no shiji ni shitagae. I feel, I feel like this is quite nice and comfortable with uh, the amount of rune area that I have for this team. is It's quite nice. It's definitely quite nice. Yeah, it might, but, you know, they have to decide they're going to heal attack or whatever. Looks like they think they have a better chance of taking out this, this guy here. You actually tried to to mute me. That's quite insane. I really didn't think that would happen. So they healed him up again. I gotta get these guys in play. You gotta get around here. I need some defense over here. Um, you might as well come out and just kind of block for now. We'll have to do some battle, you know. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> it's it's going to be kind of like that. Yeah, like right now, I, I, I kind of almost wish I had uh, a Venom spell. Magic resist up. So that's that's not quite the same thing. Um, I guess... You have enough points for this? 63? Dang it. All right, we need we need we need tanky tanky stuff here. Good, good, Harry Fairy. Should I stay here? I... Sure. Turn 7. I'm not even to the castle yet. Jeez. Okay, there's the Divine Ray. Thank you very much for that. And they're still under that protection, aren't they? Except for one dude. 67. Oh, we missed. That was a good percent, too. That was a decent percent. 40. Oh, yikes. She is super evasive. I'm just saying. He's still magic resist. Oh, he's still magic resist, but... doesn't though he's too far though Jeez. 
she literally has nothing left. It's just her. Ah. <sighs> Can't do anything with you. Why do you give me the option to do this if there's nobody here? Divine break. So B is going next. B could heal. Wait, can B heal? No, he can't. Black Bard's power. Wait, B's going next, then who? Then uh, after that is C team. Okay, so C team goes. Alright, looks like I'm doing this here. He had to shield black too. Well, okay. Forty-three. It's just so bad. I'm <laughs> going <laughs> And he moved out of the way. Great. I mean, not great. He can actually put some damage into him, which is quite good for me there. Just 11. Man. And a defensive skill. Great. Good counter kill challenge met. Yes, proficiency leveled up. Great. C team. You're kidding me! Twice in a row, 67%! He can't even do it? We wasted all that solid possibility. What a waste. Okay, we're not doing that again. We 
What a waste. Yeah, well, I don't really, I don't think I have anybody that can even do magic down, so I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Um, that's a good percentage, though, so one of those percentages should have fired. It wasn't a horrible percentage, it was a, kind of a decent percentage. Okay, we're going in a row now, which could be good. Uh, okay, so we're going in a row, going back, B, A, C. Yeah, everybody else in the stream, how you doing today? We might have to rush the castle. We only got four turns left. So A will go next. A could cleave through that. Could give him a kill. Ooh, I got an idea. Okay, so he will hit me. He might he might break this guy. But Okay, it's just really up to these three here. Kidding me. So close. Me 
んな私についてきて。やっ Yes! Yes! We got a night down. Sorry, Brandon. But you gotta go. You gotta go, bro. When you gotta go, you gotta go. And you gotta go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does do that. That's true. I just don't have anybody that can do that. Um. Oh, oh, you mean Mua? Yeah, I guess Mua could. Then again, I'd be playing this veil game with with Jew the whole time. Every time I do a spell, Jew's gonna do a veil spell, or a heal spell, or a cure spell, or a cleanse spell, or something. And she'll just keep doing Veil over and over again. And it gets annoying because it happens a lot. If I had somebody else to do it, to chain effect, you know, to break the Veil and then do an attack or something like that, that would work. But if I just do one Mua spell and really got nothing else to do. Yes, we could go dark. I think we're gonna do some dark, some dark night stuff. Decision time. We have a lot of decisions to make here, don't we? I think we lost uh, one. Monster? I don't know how many monsters we lost to Avmo. And everybody else is here. I have, I don't remember how much we lost, but we lost some stuff. That's for sure. So. Dark and Darian to fit his demeanor better, I thought. Yeah. He, he might be a pretty good Dark Knight. I mean, you know. So we got up to that. Okay, so we lost a little more than I thought. Um, I forgot we lost... One of the big ones, too. We lost four monsters in our first fight. Wow. We had a lot of tank stuff, though. We didn't really have much range. I was kind of going to use um, Mua as my range. I was going to, you know, have a couple of range. Really not much there, but we'll have to level up and, and, and buy some other stuff here, I guess. So I'll have to play like that. All right, so we're going to go after... Oh boy. Little Umamaro's here with Guinea. Oh no, that's going to be quite strong. That's going to be quite strong, that's for sure. Battle of Minz. Quite strong. Very, very strong. Maybe too strong. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a nightmare. I, I might get more nightmares than uh, than Pegasi. <laughs> I don't know which, what is it supposed to be called? Pegasus is, or Pegasi? Maybe it's Pegasi. It could be Pegasi. I was <laughs> Winner Pluto be happy, loser still be angry. Umar must win. <laughs> I like that little guy. I hate having to fight him. Come on, Daddy. Daddy -o. Well, it's a good thing he's the same element as Eliza, so he won't do so much damage to her, but that little Umamaro guy will. It's kind of an 
nice setup we got here. We're gonna have to save this this bird. Bird's gonna need a saving. Nobody knows how many. A little plant man here. Alright, so if you want some names too, definitely keep keep going ahead and reminding me some of this, because if I forget, and I forget. Yeah, we got level we got daring to level twenty in the first battle. It's quite good. No, I wanted to get closer. We have a lot of healers here. Maybe we got too many healers now. Yeah, we'll have to get Patricia into this battle here. Uh, Sugar's gonna go somewhere else because she'll make a really good team somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. They're actually gonna come right after me. I gotta be a little careful here because I decided to go after the blue with her as the leader. So she's gonna have a kind of a tough time against Stella. And in retrospect, maybe I should have gone elsewhere. But Norzalio is also blue. So really only Shinobi's like good for her to just jump in there, but I don't know. I, I kind of had a feeling like going after Morel would be a better call. But then again, I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, they are trying to come after me, aren't they? They are. And Daddy Hammett's over here. You gotta deal with that too. Nobody knows how many. Where is he likely gonna line up? Is he gonna go right here? I'm going to tempt you to the front. We're going to see if that happens. Okay. Maybe he's going to go right or he's going to go left. One of the two. We could try to kill this thing fairly quick. It's actually quite cool that they did what they did. Can't really get my archer into play. Well, I kind of can actually.
Not too bad, not too bad. See, I've always thought of it, it was that too. Pegasi, you know. <clears throat> All right, let's let's see what the dragon's gonna do first, because the dragon's the big, big, big dragon. Sixty-nine. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, we can deal with that. Skill. I could do a cheer. Attack for a limited number of turns. I wonder if that's a better call. It might be. Okay, I think we're going to have her play... That's great. I think we're going to have her play a little bit of support. Glorious cheer. Increases attack for a limited number of turns. Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. I think we're going to need that. Okay, it looks like our healing is okay. Oh, he went over there? I thought he was going to go on the left side. They chose that path, so... Man. How evasive is the little dude right now? Uh, 78. It's pretty good. He doesn't really get super evasive later on. Ah, 59. It's not good at all. Gonna break this guy down. Punch, punch something into here. And even then, I don't really have a great chance. Uh, Guinea might come around that side. I'm not sure. Got organic body too. Which isn't very good. Good. Can't do anything with you over here. All right, so we have to do a flight or a resist. Oh, that's too far. We really don't have any magic though, so I guess a flight's gonna be better. Oh man, that's really not what I want with this team here. It's gonna do a pirate attack anyways on him.
やったろうぜほらしっかりしなみんな私に続けー I think so. <laughs> It went from two to zero. <laughs> Our chances of, of charming went from two to zero. No! 40% ch Well. So just do a frost spell. We're gonna have to get him low. Don't call! Don't call! I think we gotta start with this here. Nice! Oh, he's coming around that side. All right. You're still within range for a freaking heal, too, aren't you? That you are. Alright, so I'm going first. Uh, we'll have to probably wait till next time. I mean, we might be able to knock him out. Might work. Seventy-five. No, well, I think we should wait on that one. We're, we're going to get close, but it's not going to be quite there yet. Tekki wa oji kezuite ru. Ima ya, issei kogeki. Oh boy, that flower really took a hit. That really did take a hit. I got that demon over there too. I can't really replant myself, can I? I could, but it's a little risky. Oh, well, it ain't worth something if it ain't worth trying. Such a dangerous spot, too. Good.
I don't want to lose this guy right now. He's he's level six. Unfortunately, that could still happen. Okay, well that was that. I don't think they have any more healers left. They almost killed off the demon. Demon is almost gone. Got the plant. Plant life is looking pretty dead too. Uh, I could protect it, although I don't know what's the purpose. So I'm going to be leveling up a Faticia here. <laughs> well, that'll be a bit more of a challenge. You know, people keep wanting to see more challenging things here. So, there you go. It's more challenging now. Please don't curse me. You stay there, you guard. You do a good job. Stay alive, bro. Stay alive. Oh, you're kidding me! You freaking paralyzed him! You had to do it too! I just increased his attack! Oh my gosh. I just increased his attack. He's flying and he's paralyzed. Oh, uh, oh that's... That is such a gross abuse of power. I'm gonna have to cleanse it up, I guess. Oh man, okay, well, Eliza goes next. Well, B team goes after that, though. Wait, why is this unicorn hurt so badly? Um. Can't really reach him too well, anyways. I need that Phoenix. I know he's he's level seven, but I kind of need a Phoenix here too. I need to keep this thing alive. Yeah, he does hit like a truck. He was he was fun to use. He really was. All right. Silence. I don't see how it's going to help, but... Hey, we got it! We we stuck the silence. No way. All right, are we going to kill Umaro in one try? Oh, yeah, we don't even have... That's all we got. We don't have a Geno. I keep thinking we got Genos this whole time. I keep thinking it's all about the Genos. I'm so used to Grand Edition, but we do not have any Genos, so... Don't call! 
she's not gonna pick up the phone. That's for sure. and we paralyzed him too oh that's fantastic no there goes the demon well that was fun this is a really tough fight I'll just say that right now <laughs> beep Initiating <laughs> protocols for withstanding Stella's anger. <laughs> oh, poor little Umi. Thanks for the dragon, though. I could use that instead of the uh, the demon, I guess. That'll help. I had to paralyze my dragon, too. You might have to undo that. Oh, good. Got enough for there. Let's do a cure. Oh, good. Great. Good grief, Charlie Brown. This thing's still there, too. Well, I can't really go do a whole ton. Yeah, Ginny is basically up next. If we can pump damage into him, we probably should. He'll be... They'll probably let him come out of Paralyze the very next turn. You know they do that. They they, they have this affinity to, to liking that sort of action, you know? They're like, should we let him out of Paralyze? Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's make sure that he's safe. Safe from the, the tyranny of Trigger and whatever Trigger decides to do and then the battlefield and all that, you know, all that stuff, you know? All right, this thing could still do a frost spell. Probably, I think we're gonna have to come over here. I I don't want. I mean, I I could put damage into him. Uh, which wait a second. Let me look at this. B team and then C team go. So can C team get to him? Not really. Uh, oh, C team is kind of held off. B team is right there. I might be able to kill him though. Then again, I'm, I'm kind of low on monsters. And then C, their C team will go. Maybe we could kill it. I'm not sure. We got B team, which is this one monster over there. And you. Which Rose could go over there. And, you know, actually the blue on the red. Do you have red? I do have red. Blue on the red would be pretty good for that. Unfortunately, if she gets cursed and all that right away, that's not very good for me. Um, I will go before they go. That's true. It's just that... They have no magic left for a resist. So if I don't kill him, which I'm not sure I can. Uh, what do I have? A rose attack and then this. That's it. That's I don't think that's enough. I'll be putting her in danger of a curse and a super guinea attack. That's that's a bit too risky. At least right now it's a bit risky. Lucia might have to come forward. I don't know what this thing's going to do. We're, we're not in a bad situation. We're in a decent situation. It's just that if I put myself in in danger and I don't kill him off, he's going to do a super attack, curse, hit Rose. Rose could go down quite fast. And I don't want to do that to good Rose. She's done a lot for me. You know? Done a lot. At least we're kind of starting to do a lot for me, you know? Yeah. 
18% chance. 18% chance, please. No. Seeing as how we're playing as a red team, I'm gonna switch to that controller. So how about that? Wait, 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 wait. Seventy one would be a good amount of damage. Uh, he'd be a lot lower. Maybe we should go this route. Wait, how much heals do we have from the uh, ranged here? Got no heals left from there. No heals there. One heal here. Okay, I can't move. I'd like to keep the flower. A flower would be kind of cool to try to level up. Yeah, I'm never going to kill him off right now. That's just not going to be the thing. Um... Guess we could resist. It looks like they're going to try attacking him with magic, so I think we'll give a resist to the dragon here. Frostbell, curse, attack. Uh, I don't know what to do with you right now, I guess. We'll push you over here. Oh, okay. So you want to go in that way. All right. That's fine. It's totally fine. I don't mind at all. I think it's time, Pedro. I think it's time. It's that time of night for, you know what? Why don't I eat some cake? I think it's time. Well, that was a two shot. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. I didn't want that. I don't think anybody wanted that. Nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. How about you just run away? <laughs> what are we going to do? She could shield block a ton too, which would hurt us a lot. Guinea needs a pet Pegasus. Might need that. Oh boy, I'm barely touching any damage on her. Charm. They're very charming. And that'll fall off too, that won't even stick. <laughs> I'd like to pump some more damage into him, but I don't know. Freya. Turn six. Yep. Of course, he completely comes out of paralyzed the very next turn. AI will do that like all the time, religiously on hard mode. So, yeah, <laughs> not gonna happen. Um. Okay, well we lost our flower. Can we get it back? We are running out of things to use to fight with. Okay, so this might work. Hundred percent. Oh man, he's gonna wreck me. 
Wait, I'm, I'm flying, though. He might not hit. Well, if he hits with a crit, that's basically game over. Yikes. I know what to do. Oh man, it's only one space away. Ah, oh, it's kind of lame. Oh, well, there we go. 100%. She's already 21. We're going to totally level up. I lost my demon and I gained a demon. And the other thing. Oh, there we go. That's cool enough for me. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm just going to back up for a second. I'm not going to take a, a face full of damage here. Yeah, but it's close enough. It's close enough. Biggers can't be choosers, you know? Uh, sure. Gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Sometimes that's how battles go. You lose a good monster, you gain another monster. It's not as good as the other one, but still... It's, it's better than, you know... Better than nothing. It's better than hiring a level 1 monster if you don't need to. That's how I see it. Okay, uh, should I? Or... This thing's still at full my points. You know, I'd like to keep... I, I would really like to get a Siren for this team. I think a Siren for this team would be fantastic. Wait a second. I don't want to fight it. You really want to stick this one out. Are you serious? You're going to lose everything you got if you try this. I mean, literally. They're going to lose everything. This is ridiculous. They should be leaving right now. Grand Edition, they'd be running. They're down to one knight. A couple monsters. Yeah, my stuff's low too, but... They just don't... They, they don't stand a chance comparatively. All I gotta do is move a couple things around and I've basically got this. They should leave. This is gobbledygook. They should be leaving right now. Be down to four. Come on, man. Forty-seven percent chance. That's it. You know, if they want to stay, I'm gonna pump and damage. Just gonna pump extra damage in here. Ninety-four percent. Oh, he's. Wow, that's good. That's good accuracy there. Run away! You guys are weird. 
I mean, seriously, I don't know why the heck you decided to stay, but you're really weird to try that. Really shouldn't be doing that. Oh. We're pretty close there. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Now I can get a Phoenix. Or at least I'll be very close to Phoenix next turn. Honestly, they should not be sticking around for this kind of stuff. This, like, Grand Edition, they'd be like, I'm out. I totally get it. Like, they, they stay way too long. And you're like, well, you get more experience. Uh, maybe. I don't know. The, the definition between experience here in Grand Edition might be a little different. Um... It's just like, I gotta spend five extra minutes fighting just to just completely annihilate their their crew. Complete annihilation. They they can't even stand a chance here. Okay, Rose, please get this kill for me, please. Thank you. Oh boy. Uh, where can you go? Okay. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, get out of here, Lucia. Get out of here, come on. Get out of here! What are you doing? You're making a fool of yourself and your whole army. You broke some stuff of mine, but I broke most of your stuff. I think except for Umamaro's team. As soon as you guys got down to one army, there was no way you could handle any of that. I was going to do exactly what I was going to do. Even if you killed one monster, or you, you scared my wizard a little bit, I was still going to bust through. I could set somebody on a castle, and that's that. Because I'm already close enough to the castle. There's absolutely no way you guys could hold that, so you should have left when you were down to one knight. The whole time. But, I guess, thanks for the experience. <laughs> thanks for the experience. I'll take it. Yeah, Pedro. They'll stick out the battle, it seems. We lost the centaur. I, I didn't want to lose the centaur. It was a tough fight. Umaro's tough. Guinea is strong. Like, they pumped a lot of damage in. <laughs> he was really like oh man. すぐそこ。本当すっごいプリティな音色なんだから。やだ。ここってブラックバードの宿舎塔じゃない。いいこと、シュガー。
れはねえ聞いたこともない音色でしょほらあそこにいるあの人が時々ここで弾いてるのえエルザお姉ちゃんに聞かせたくって連れてきたんだから。エルザ様の前でマスクを外しておるとは一体どういうつもりじゃ懲罰棒にぶち込んでくれる待ちなさいブラックバードの宿舎に近づいた私が悪いのこの人はあエルザお姉ちゃんあの人行っちゃったよえ<笑>エルザ様あの男にはお気をつけください騎士としてはかなりの腕ですがいかんせん気に入らないことがあると指揮官の言うことも聞かないっていう男ですあの楽器はは？ほらあのダリアンっていう人がここで時々弾いてるでしょバレロとかいうバレット族に古くから伝わる楽器らしいですわ。バレロ。何でも死者に呼びかける音楽だとか。<笑>締めっぽいったらねえですわ。そんなことないわ。おじさんにはあの音色の良さがわからないだけ。チェ、大魔法師ムーア様のお孫さんにそう言われちゃ、こちらも何も返せませんや。失礼しますあの人のこといじめたらおじいちゃんに言いつけちゃうからねたっくもどうして大人ってバレット族のことを悪く言うのかしら多分あの人たちの能力が私たちの何倍も優れてるから。いつも父がそう話していたわ大統領がそれとシュガーのおじいちゃん大魔法師ムーアもねだから騎士団の上層部はあの人たちの身分を低くしておくことで自分たちの優位を保とうとしてるのだってうーんどういうこと<笑>シュガーにはまだちょっと難しいかなとにかく父は自分が大統領であるうちになんとかブラックバードの部隊を一級の騎士団に格上げしなくちゃってしょっちゅう言ってるの自分の代でそれができなかったらエルさんお前がそういうバカな差別のないルーンの騎士団を作るのだなんてねうわそんじゃエルゾお姉ちゃんが次の大統領になるんだねよしその時は私が大魔法師になってお手伝いしてあげるお願いねシュガーでもそれにはぼちぼち魔法の経典初級編合格しないとね I thought she just did pass it. それを言わないでよそれを<笑>ダリアン
どうしたらあんな音を奏でられるの悲しくて I can still feel a comforting embrace. <laughs> well, it sounds like she might have a crush on the dude. Once upon a time, when the Republic of Gamol was still separated with the Gui in the north and the Mole in the south, the nomadic Gustavs attempted to invade the island of the Norzalio Principality from the north. The time the island was in a state of unrest over the issue of succession. Seeing this as an opportunity, the Gustav's cavalry unit attacked. This altercation before the birth of the Holy Gustav Empire became known as the Gustav Incident. The fighting that ensued had repercussions as far as Gui, located south of the Rosalio Principality. To save their trading partner Gui, as well as Norzalio, the rude knights of Mul, decided to break their sounds and send troops up to assist. At the center of these armed troops were three sisters who were also famous knights and well known through Mul. These sisters raised an army at the border of Mul and while singing a popular folk song titled Jibon de Verda marched north to liberate Gui. Three beautiful sisters fought fearlessly and with unwavering courage against the barbaric Gustavs. Those dirty, 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 dirty Gustavians. They wielded special swords forged by their father, a master blacksmith. It is said that these swords had the ability to release magical energy. Enemies and allies alike came to fear these powerful swords, and in time, the sisters' weapons came to be known as the Swords of Ang. After having led their army to victory, the three sisters passed on, leaving behind the following words. People of Gui and Mole joined together against those dirty, dirty, dirty Gustavians. Raise up to stand alongside the nations of Norzalio and Mana Celestia, Protect the glory of the people. Not long after the sisters' deaths, a man clad in armor who had been exiled from the neighboring Manus Lesia theocracy appeared. It was actually Jesus with armor and a polearm of sorts, probably a flag. To the surprise of all, embedded in the armor he wore were one of the divine mana stones. The man called himself Ohana Carradine. Or he didn't call himself Jesus, but... Ohana was deeply moved by the reverence sown by the people of Gui and Mole towards the Mole Ang sisters after the battle against the Gustavs. In compliance with the sisters' dying wish, he labored towards the unification of the two countries. As a tribute to the song of the sisters' uprising, Yuban de Feda, March of Glory. He installed the mana stone embedded burgundine as a symbol of glory for the new Republic of Grimaud and was elected its first president by the people. Of the three swords of Ang used by the sisters, one has been passed down through the years in the Republic of Grimaud. As for the other two, however, both were lost to time and history. And that was that. And here we are. David Carradine. 
Possibly. Possibly, Jake. I think Pedro's into naming babies. Pedro's got his baby book. Got a big dictionary with baby names in it. Pedro, are you expecting? I don't know. It sounds like that could work. The way you wrote down the combinations there. We can possibly do some, uh, some serious pushes here, maybe. これはエルザ様こそが戦を沈め和平を実現されるお方であるというルーンの神の啓示に違いありませんそして知りたいのです神がなぜ癒しの力ではなく破壊の力をユー may pa you shall pass ekliber <laughs> <laughs> we'll let her pass. She might be a good night for us. All right, let's do some organization. We'll set the attacks, and then we're going to have to call it here. Night. Um, I could keep going, but I'd have to make a whole new episode. That's like two hours later. And, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of beat. I'm already going for like three and a half hours. I didn't want to go that long, but we did pretty well today. So I'd have to say congratulations. Ooh, look at this. No! Wait, we lost... Alright, what is she? Enchantress level... Ooh! Ooh! I don't know. Maybe we should level up Little Sugar. Maybe she'll be uh, really good for us here. I could probably put... Uh, Patricia on a different team, maybe. But we do have to level her too, that's for sure. <sighs> um, Yeah, they might. That might happen. I got so many heals on this team. That's probably not... Probably not advisable. Yeah, if I could fit it. Which I might be able to. Actually, the... Uh, well, I can't... I really... Oh, no. No, I can't put the demon on that team. Won't work.
that's okay. There's a protect spell there. Okay. All right. So we got Leanne, an extra knight, um, Trisha, who we could put somewhere. I don't know. I think mermaid for unicorn. I'd like to I'd like to get uh, a siren on this team here actually It'd be kind of nice okay so Patricia needs to go somewhere uh, who are we gonna do what with who and with with what and whom and why right as if that makes sense Okay. Can't do much with him. Let's check out where we can quest here. But, ooh, now we can quest for stuff. Time to get that extra knight. Oh, you know what? 30. Get 100 down here. Uh, we can do some classing here. Oh, oh. Alright, so if you want names and such here on Twitch, you can let me know. Um, we are either going to move into Shinobi or going to move into Narzalia with this team. One of the two. I might have to switch things up and move people back around. I might have to re readjust the whole team here due to the fact that um, I'm going to have to readjust the whole team due to the fact that we just did some levels we got ourselves a Dark Knight now so we can readjust a little bit make Dark Knight lead uh, a mage of some kind maybe we could bring you know uh, Patricia as a healer here and she could stay with the Dark Knight for some amount of time but um, yeah we're going to be fighting green so we probably need red but if we're fighting Norzalio, we probably need green. So green might be the safe bet, but then again, you know, we could go with blue. Ah, uh, maybe we should go with the dark dragon. Maybe holy dragon. I don't know. I think a dark or holy dragon would be pretty good for right here. Green might be okay, but all right. What does what does everybody say? Holy dragon or dark dragon? Because we're gonna be fighting some, we're gonna be fighting some paladins. We're gonna be fighting some, you know, holy leaders. I think if that's the case, we'll probably go dark. I think we'll go dark here. Yeah, yeah, we'll go dark. Level up our knight. It's gonna be a good old dark knight. Dark knight looks pretty boss, I have to say. I like the look of the dark knight. She's two, he's one. Yeah, they're all very good. I have to readjust the teams. They're they're all at very very high levels here. Um, he's gonna need a healer, which he already does have a heal, you know. Yeah, Jake, I I had agree too. I understand you're going back to ancient dragon, and it's like, well, now you're ancient dragon, so now. You're what you used to be in your red, and you can change the. You get enough equipment, you can change the elements, so you can make them almost all a different elemental color, like green or possibly blue. I can't remember which claws give blue though. I know you can go green. You can go more red, you know, stuff like that. I think they wanted to try to like make certain things just like a very strict balance, but 
you know, I agree with you on that. Like, should be able to go, you know, pick your color, you know? Um, yeah, I think the reason they... Osita raises a good point. It's probably because they have the Basilisk, which is the new dragon plant. And then they've got the snake. So as far as, like, the three types go, the snake, get, the snake is blue, dragon's red, the plants are green, and then you get that whole... You know, one beats the other kind of scenario, and maybe that's where they're aiming for, but... Um... Uh, yeah. Either that or make the Ancient Dragon so it doesn't really, like, ha... Maybe, maybe make the Ancient Dragon so it has three different elements, so it has all three of the elements instead of... You know, maybe an extra element of what you already had with them, so if it's a Dark Dragon, it has, like, a Dark Element, and then it gives you three orbs of all the three different kinds, so it's, like all the colors you know that would be cool uh i i would say that would be kind of cool but we got to readjust this so let's let's uh move some stuff around if you want to talk about it go ahead i don't mind that's uh very interesting a very interesting conversation piece there i should yeah i should take all the best stuff for him because we're going to be moving to some places that are... It. I'm going to split them up so he's going to be on his own with a healer. And these two are going to be with somebody else. Maybe Patricia will go there. I don't know. Elixir of life. No way. We already got one of those. Oh, we got an orb. Good. Give it to this thing. There you go. Looks of life. And you know, I'm gonna give all my my best stuff to my main leader right now, just because. Uh, uh I don't really like what we got left here. He's kind of low, although he is a fighter, and this guy is now a mage. Just hysterical. Oh, you know what we could do? We could put Conrad up there. He could kind of, like, fill in here. Could bring that knight over there, and then the healer back. Should I bring a barbarian back? Uh, let's see, what do we got? So we got Trisha. Got... What is she again? I gotta think about this, because we got... She's an Enchantress, level 7. She could become a healer. She would be very versatile. She would be very good for one team. We're going to need a little bit of versatility here, though, so... I think we'll go with... She's already an Enchantress, right? So... It's level 5. We'll give her some heals. And we're losing MP, but... It's better to have... I personally feel it's better to have versatility with heals and damage. I know you might not get as many MP points, but I, that's the way I like to play it. Um, let's get 130. So she needs to go to a decent team there. Oh, oh, okay. So, okay. So Conrad moves up. Conrad moves up. It's going to be a bit of a versatile fighter. He's not very good, but he's kind of okay. Conrad moves up. We got... Gonna move... So there's moving somebody up, so we got to move somebody down. I think Darian's going to move down. Take his space. So we've got... I could work with... I could work with this guy. He's a fighter. Level 9, though. Probably work with him. Get a couple fighters in there. A couple tanky tanks. That, or I could level up Patricia. And I could level up Leanne. So that might be a good call at this point. I get two healers. Keep the Dark Knight alive. Well, maybe that's a better idea. Maybe that is a better idea. Yeah, probably. Okay, we're going to move... He's already got stuff too. Move her over. Move 
Yan over, so we're going to have two mages for healing. Conrad, ironically, is going to be a mage for the other team. She's not that amazing, but we already have two amazing knights over there, as is. Move that there. Sugar can stay here. That's the case, so we could probably do some quests, which I just did this quest here. He didn't really do much else. It's a case that this guy could quest out. Well, seeing as how there's knights to be gained, I'm just going to have him go for something. Just have him go for something here. Bring back a Thor and Loki too. I like them. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to quest for that, man. We'll have to try. Uh, so I think everything's going. The other thing is like I I I wish I could relook at like my location cuz I have I hope I did things right. If I didn't, I'm going to screw things up. We got dispatch quest one night. We got one night moving. So we're gonna move Darian down there. Kate's a lancer, so she can frontline take tank for quite a bit. She could do probably pretty good. Yeah. Move quest. Ammonia. Okay, so we got that going back there. We got two knights coming over here. So if he's moving back, he's maxed out. Someone's moving over. So that one that's moving over needs knights. So... Looks like this guy's not really going to get to fight much. He might not get to. Darian might kind of take his place. So we'll take these monsters here. 76, we need to summon. 76... What do we have for, for stuff we got? A couple dogs might work out well here. You know, or this and a lizard guard could work too. But, I don't know, we, we have a bit of variety. Maybe the dogs would be good because hitting the ways could help us out in a pinch. Um... Oh, really, Pedro? That would be interesting to see. Okay, so this northern team is going to be quite well. I think he has a heal, too. Yeah, he has a heal going north, so... He's going to be pretty good with that. Where should I put a mage on this team? I'm putting a mage on this team, but just... Eh, what? He's actually a decent mage, I guess. Um, 52, 130. Oh my gosh, we gotta really fill this up, don't we? We're gonna run through our, our mana supply deposits. <laughs> We are definitely going to run through it. Do I have any mermaids up here, though? Got to check for that. On this team, I kind of don't. Two mermaids and a big, a big dude. Or one mermaid. A hairy fairy and a big dude. And then we'll try to restock everything else because we are we are quite low. I gotta fill up like a bunch of teams. Six. Should I get another? Probably should get another protect spell. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have good things and negative things going all the way through. I try to just keep a good stock of things, just so I'm I, maxed out or almost maxed out with stuff. And try to use everything appropriately as best as possible. Which can be difficult. Okay, so that looks. No, that looks pretty good, actually. I like this. I like this squad we got going here. Got 130, you know? Give Angel Demon more hit point. That or give him more defense. One of the two. But I kind of agree. They're so, so squishy. Alright, got 130. Oh, we got enough for this, this, and that. So we could do that. Oh, that's a terrible giant. <laughs> that's terrible. I, ca I can't. I, I, I gotta buy another one, though. I now we'll get one of you. That one's horrible, too. Ooh, got some pretty terrible stuff for this. Fantastic. Okay, that is a terrible looking team, but maybe. Just maybe my boys can do it. Okay. Yeah, that's... What can you say? Can I get something more here? Can I get a 35? Can I get a dog? I'll take a dog over a hairy fairy at this point. You know what? I will take a plant over a rock. All I need is one. So that probably is a better call. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You're absolutely right. They could definitely tank. Um, Archangels kind of could for a bit because they had evasion, so could the demon class. And then when you get to third tier, you definitely could tank frontline with them, you know, because the evasion, the evasion alone was enough to kind of save your bacon. And so they would, they would take hits and they would evade a lot of stuff. They did it like all the time. 355. Okay, bro, I'm going to give you this. Abandoned Mins and Harmona? Hmm... I could abandon Mins, but I can't abandon Harmona right now. I'm gonna fight and push in every angle here, and I'll probably pull back so that they can't like walk in here. Next turn, Angela's gonna come here, and Angela's gonna just go back and forth. 
and just keep attacking if they attack my up to castle. And I'll just keep playing that way. And I can move in Morelva easily enough. But if I leave this open here and I attack there, they're going to attack there. I'm going to be over here. And by that time, I won't even be close enough to this. So I can pull back here. But I'm literally just going to be going back and forth, bouncing between uh, Sidestoria and Alternia. And then this team is just going to keep, you know, hitting as much as it can. And this team is going to push into here and maybe knock them out. Possibly. It's going to go back and forth. We're just going to... Whatever we got to do to to level and grind and all that, we're going to do it. And if they start getting close to this, then I'll have to worry about sending a team over here. But, we'll, but if we can knock out... If we do knock out Shinobi and Norzalio we might do that but I'm gonna push this team down here so we might knock out three countries in one settlement in one try but we'll have to see um, yeah that looks okay yeah we're gonna we're gonna kind of try to set up like that I have to figure out who so I gotta make sure I got questing so you're questing there gonna do yeah frontline archangels Loki's beard doing wonderful thing yeah yeah with even without gear they they could handle it um yeah you can get some gear in here that can actually you know help you out with some monsters and such but it's just one team. It's hard to get a ton of gear unless you just sit around and quest all the time. But I'd like to level up everybody because it seems like with this game, attacking more and leveling more just makes you a better player. You can you can work the playing field a lot better because if you don't, they will. And with the way that they set up the power scores, it seems like I have to a lot of the time. So we're going to move back there. I think we're set to go. I, I could check my items and equipment here real fast, but... Let's see if this is the case. Elixir. Oh, yeah, got... Wisdom. All right, Elixir of Life. Let's give it to you, Eliza. She's going to need it. Okay, let's end the phase here. Let's move into attacking phase. Looks like we're going to give up castle, though. But, of course, Rudo's right there. <laughs> but, so hopefully this will work. We'll, we'll attack here just to break down Rudo next turn. And uh, we'll have some fun with that. Uh, this team. So now we got this kind of a team here, which it's still okay. It's 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 um, not as good as it was beforehand. This team is a bit lackluster right now, but everything on his team is amazing. So he's gonna have a healer. She's gonna be a healer, but she can also do other magic too. And we're going to have to try to work out a way to get the wind here, because this is going to look kind of tough. We don't really have much. We have a couple fire things here, which could burn down some of their greens. But we don't really have a lot of range and mobility. We're going to be kind of stuck in this foresty terrain, you know? Um, we could potentially use this to lure their team. We could maybe get some lures on here and charm a couple things. Uh, so that's going to be a tough fight to come free of. But we do have Dark Knight here. We got a Dark Knight, so that could probably work in our favor. So, <clears throat> we got one attack. We got to go. Can't do anything here. We kind of made Morelva a little bit upset by taking that over. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. I'd almost maybe, I might actually switch the teams. Um, I might switch the teams here because this team might be better in the forest considering we got fire magic, you know? We got a Lancer there, we got some more fire magic here, we got magic, we got dark magic. We might, this team might be better in the forest. We do have a forest creature here too, so this might be better down there. So maybe we'll switch these teams up because this team looks pretty good too. It's just, I'm a little worried. We got a couple goblins, but that that's not that much. We, we, we have this too, which is nice, but we just don't have a lot of mobility here. I really kind of don't. And if I'm going to fight Grados, I'd rather fight with a Dark Knight. I know he could do some damage too, but... Dark Knight would take down some of their healers and such. I might switch up these teams next time. We might do that. So maybe we'll do that next time. This team is going to go after them next time though. Just I know I could come back here, because they might come back and attack, but... I'd rather break down Rudo than have to fight that team with this team over here, although it could happen. I'd rather not fight Rudo with a team that literally did nothing yet. I'd prefer not to. So, that's going to have to call it for this episode here on Cowboy Brigantine. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. You know, this is, this is going to be really fun. I've been looking forward to this since the beginning. I was considering Republic of Gomont or Holy Ghost of Empire was going to be... I was thinking it was probably going to be Holy Ghost of Empire, but this was kind of my second pick. So I'm having a lot of fun with this team. I, I think I'm I'm still story-wise kind of leaning to Morelva, but this, this team seems pretty fun too, and uh, I'm liking the story here too. So I don't know if this might be my second favorite team, but I don't know. But I gotta say, everybody, thanks so much for being here. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow for the finale of our co-op with Norzalio. So our Norzalio co-op with Raging Paul and I, probably going to be tomorrow. Um, we're going to have a tough time. Even though it's on easy, we're going to have a tough time because we didn't really do any grinding. Hardly any kind. We're just going in with what we got. And so, Raging Paul has no idea about anything about the fight. Nothing. He doesn't know anything at all. And he doesn't even know that there's two options for two fights. He doesn't even know that either. So, <laughs> I, and I only got one night to work with, so I'm going to see what he does and try to maneuver with him. And we'll see how we handle those. So, thanks Avemo, thanks Pedro, thanks Jake. Thanks, Osida. Thanks, everybody, for jumping in here. But I'm going to close the stream down. If you didn't get the check out, um, you might be able to still. Uh, yeah. So if you want to, check out the latest video I put up on YouTube. One Man Army. I went up against the Zor Illusion with just Rudo. And I know you saw me stream it, but I wanted to try it one more time and I got it in less turns than I did with the stream. So definitely go and check out the one-man army. It's just Rudo versus Zor Illusion. It's Fenrir's and the other knights. And he cleaned house. Rudo's a super, super powerful guy. So, all right. I'm going to let you go, and I hope you have a great night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, y'all.